Hi guys, so in today's video I thought I'd take you through all of the books that are on my physical TBR, so let's get into it. So I'm someone who is really bad at just buying a load of books, even though I already have like a lot to read. So I thought I would just go through all of the books that I have currently and kind of motivate myself to actually get through them first before I buy any more. So I've moved you onto my tripod now so I don't have to keep holding my phone. I thought I would go through these books in sections to make it a little bit quicker. So these first four books are books that I've had for quite a while. Um, so the first one is Charlotte Says by Alex Bell. I've read the first book in this series in 2016 and i've had this one ages haven't got through it then we've got girl interrupted by susanna kazan my friend gave me this to read um so i haven't got through it but i do want to read it before i watch the film then we've got the wicked novel by gregory Maguire. i love the um west end show i've seen it four times i think so yeah i do need to read this eventually and then last of all, we've got Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I know that the film's pretty good. I haven't seen it. So again, I might try and read this before I watch the film. All right, so the next category is a little bit bigger than that one, but these are the books that I have at my uni house and don't physically have on me now, but they do count because they're still books on my TBR. I just don't have them here. So first of all, we've got Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe. I've seen this like quite a lot online and so I picked it up um, last year at some point. Then we've got The Gravity of Us by Phil Stampner. My uni actually did a whole thing um, where they sent everyone this book when I was in first year or when I was about to start first year. Haven't read it yet, but it's really uh, interesting looking from the blurb and then Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This is a big one. Most people have heard of this one. I haven't got around to reading it because it looks really chunky and intimidating. Um, but I will get through it because I do love a thriller. Then we have Forensics by Val McDermind, I think. That's how you pronounce it. This is a non-fiction and I've been really struggling with the non-fiction books that I have at the moment. I've not been as interested in them, but I really like forensic science and forensics generally is a really interesting topic for me, so I will eventually get around to that. Then The Guest by Lorraine Mace. I picked this up in the free £6 deal in the works a while ago. Never seen anything about it, never heard of the book or the writer, but the blurb looked interesting so I picked it up and then we've got Bunny by Mara is it basically I'm looking at this photo and I've got text covering it but I think it's by Mara Aswad or something like that this one I've heard a lot about really excited to read this I got it like not that long ago so I haven't had a chance to read it yet I've got other books I've had a while longer and I wanted to read those first and then finally The Launch Party by Lauren I think Foster I don't know again I can't see on the image but the images of the books will be up so you can see what her actual name is again this was in the three for six pound deal from the works never seen anything about it but just thought it looks quite good and then finally we move on to books that I have in this house physically i'm gonna do these kind of one by one because i've got them on my bookshelf and i don't want to ruin the order that they're in first of all and this is this is actually two books in one so i just lied um noughts and crosses and checkmate both by mallory blackman i had to read this for english in like year eight or something but the play so i've never read the actual book of it which is a lot more detailed obviously um and I really liked this it's a very interesting story concept. It's like the reverse of society now. It's really interesting. Um, and I think this is just the sequel of it. So I realized I've been yapping a lot 
especially in that last clip so i'm gonna try and get through these a little bit quicker but next we have the serial killer's daughter as you can see i went in the works again i have a problem i think there's three books in the series you've got the serial killer's wife and then there's another one i forgot to mention that is by alice hunter but yeah this is the next one again we've only stopped going in the works this book is called Cybercrime in the Darknet by Kath Senka. This is a non-fiction. I picked this up because one of my modules for this year at uni is about cybercrime. And I find it really interesting. So I nerded out a bit and bought this, but yeah, excited to read that probably when I start uni. Next we have Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I got this for Christmas, I think. Um, this might be my next read because I literally just finished The Housemaid last night and I've been meaning to read this one ASAP. So I wanna maybe get onto this one. So this is not gonna be my TBR for very long. But yeah. The next book is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I heard a lot about this. I know some people aren't a massive fan of this because it's like quite hard to understand or something. But again, I've been really into thrillers recently and this seems like a really, really interesting one. Next, we have The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is a classic, of course. I've been wanting to read this for a while. I just haven't. But also, I need to be in the right headspace because I know this one's quite depressing. <laughs> Next, we have X's and O's by Amy Lee. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but that's what we're going with. Um, I picked this up ages ago and Waterstoned. Never heard anything about it before I picked it up. And I have been putting it off a little bit because I'm not really in my romance era, like strictly romance, I'm in my thriller era um but i will read this so this is another non-fiction but it's criminal by angela kerwin so i do criminology so this is a great book related to my course again like the cyber crime one i will probably end up reading this when i start uni again so i'm going to clump these two together so they're the same author but i've got turtles all the way down and will grayson will grayson by john green I read four other John Green books and these are the last two that I own. I just haven't been really excited to pick them up because I feel like this is what I would have read when I was like 13 and I'm kind of more into like thrillers and romances and stuff i will get around to these just to read them and maybe they'll surprise me and be really good next is peaky blinders the real story by carl chin i was obsessed with peaky blinders i love it so much and yeah this is like the real story behind the tv show next is where the crawdads sing by delia owens i know there's a film of this and it's pretty good but I, well from what i've seen i don't know i, I didn't watch it but I bought the book. And also, can we talk about the cover? Because the cover's really pretty. It's one of the reasons I picked it up. Because I, I saw it and I was like, oh, you know, this does look good. But yeah, the cover is like stunning. I love the pink. So the biggest amount of books from the same author is Alice Osman. Osman, I, I never know how to pronounce their name. Um, so we've got Heartstopper 1. I got this two Christmases ago, I think. I do want to get the other ones as well, but I just haven't got through it yet. Then we've got this winter, which again, the works. I, I should be banned because I, I spend too much money in there, but very excited. It's a little Nick and Charlie novella. So well, it's Christmassy. It's probably gonna be really depressing, but you know, it's Christmassy. And then we've got Solitaire by Alice Osman, obviously as well, Osman. I don't know, you know, we, we move on. Um, I'm gonna take this one holiday with me. So this will be read very soon. Um, as long as I finish Five to Five before I go on holiday. But I know this one's gonna be quite depressing and I feel like I will relate to it quite a lot. Next up, we have Dreamland by Rosa Rankin G. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I picked this up cause it's based on my town. Um, <laughs> I've never heard of her, never heard of this book before, but I, I picked it up. It is really chunky though. I say that, but like, I think it's 463 pages. That's not that bad, but you know, I've got to be in the right frame of mind to read this. 
because I think this will take me a while. But, you know, as I say, it's based on my town. It's cool. I want to see how, how she writes it because obviously I see it every day. So next up we have The Word is Murder and the Sentence is Death by Anthony Horowitz. I actually started reading this when I was in year 13. I got it like out from the library and then my mum bought it for me for Christmas. So I returned the book, um, obviously. Um, so I did start this, but it was a while ago and I don't really remember what happened other than this woman organised her own funeral. That's all I remember and don't know anything about this one. And finally, we've got Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I've been meaning to read this for weeks, actually. People keep telling me to read it and I'm like, yeah, I'll read it. And I just haven't, but I know it's quite spicy. I've never really had a spicy romance book before. The closest is Verity by Colleen Hoover, but I wouldn't necessarily count that as a romance as much as a thriller, but it is quite spicy, so. That's the closest I've ever read. Again, hockey romance. I don't even like care about hockey that much, but book talk did make me buy it or make me ask for it for Christmas. And I think it's pretty decent. I know the second one, which is I think Wildfire is apparently really good. So yeah, I will get through this. But yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video and you wanna suggest any books for me to read, like as a priority out of all the ones that I've listed, let me know, um, I'll try and do that. And yeah, make sure to like, comment, any video suggestions and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.